fast food workers. What's an item people should absolutely stop ordering from your restaurant? I read this thread to the very end and it only confirmed what I already believed. Never get ice. No sodas from soda machines. McDonald's is the devil. And Subway sucks. To help earn money for my son's school trip to the British Isles. He and I worked at the concession stand for HS football games. Among a bunch of other things. The very first game. The stadium supervisor helped us set up. He opened a cabinet and took out the nacho cheese machine. And plugged it in. He opened the lid and looked inside. That should last a couple of hours. When it starts getting low. Take a bag. Cut a corner off and squeeze it in. When you are done tonight. Just unplug it and stick it back in the cupboard so it will be ready for next week. That was 20 years ago. I haven't eaten nachos since that evening. Waffle House cook. If we are talking health reasons. Everything. There is nothing remotely healthy on the menu. Otherwise I say grits because they can sit for hours and managers will try to keep them looking fresh even though they cost next to nothing to buy. I don't go to Waffle House for its quality food. Worked at Krispy Kreme for 2 years. Just so you know. The donuts are absolutely fresh brought in twice a day. Don't order any of the coffee bean drinks. Though they never ever change the ice chest. Edit. Donuts are most fresh at 6am and 3pm. Arby's. Meat Mountain. This is a sandwich with every type of meat we have in the store. If you wanna look it up. Enable safe search. I swear to god if one person says a McChicken I will jump out my bedroom window. Came into this thread solely to look for this. I used to work at a movie theater. Unless things have changed. Never order the hot dogs. They sit there for a long time. Butter most likely gets removed from the pumps and put back in jugs for the next day. So don't do that. And stay away from pickles. Worked at a small dive bar chain. Whose gimmick is that everything on the menu is $5. 65. Cad. The nachos. For the same price as a burger. Or pasta. Or literally anything else on the menu. You got a fistful of cheese on top of some chips. They also suck to make. We would heat them up on the plate we served them on. And then would put the burning hot plate on top of a cold one to serve. So many unnecessary burns. And so many extra dishes. Culver's worker here. We're usually actually kinda serious about making everything fresh. But crispy chicken sandwiches are usually the things that are around 30 minutes here. If we're talking annoyance to make. Stop ordering gluten free buns unless you have an allergy. We need to get all new condiments specifically for your order. Edit. Some people don't seem to understand the difference between allergy intolerance and preference. If you have an allergy or intolerance we take it very seriously. If it's a preference. We'll still use new gloves and condiments. We'll just do so judgingly. I don't know if this counts but. I used a data restaurant inspector. He said always go to the bathroom to wash your hands before buying food at a fast food joint. If the soap dispenser is empty leave. If the condition of the restroom is filthy leave. Long John Silvers. 2006. Baked cod on a bed of rice. He would microwave it in a paper dish. Probably could have stopped at Long John Silvers. Seafood is assuredly the one thing I will never order fast food. Sonic. Small Sonic Blasts. I worked in a local coffee and donut shop and nobody ever cleaned the soda machines. They were so gross the first time I cleaned them. I asked if anyone knew how to do it and nobody knew. Nobody had ever done it. Edit. Lots of people are wondering why there is soda. Because I live in a highly Mormon populated area and they can't drink coffee. Apparently a lot of people like Mountain Dew with their apple fritters. And apparently Mormons can drink Mountain Dew? Used to work at Panda Express. No real complaints about the ingredients and food prep. But don't buy any shrimp on trays if you actually want to a full meal. They purposely use a smaller serving spoon to make it appear you're getting a lot of food. 
I believe it was 6 shrimps per serving max was the, the policy. Tropical smoothie cafe all of the smoothies. Except the detox ones. Have so much sugar in them. You are not being healthy by going there. Edit. The sugar isn't just from the fruit. Sugar is added to most smoothies. And they claim it's good because it's turbinado. Also. Fruit is healthy. I never worked fast food but figured this was worth relaying. When my father-in-law was diagnosed with lung cancer and started chemo the hospital gave him a list of things to avoid because his immune system was compromised. A lot of stuff was obvious like soft serve ice cream and anything from a soda fountain, because the nozzles on both don't always get cleaned that well. Some stuff made sense but wasn't obvious until I read it. Like don't get slices of pizza, because they have been sitting out. And when getting a whole pizza ask for it unsliced, because the pizza cutter only gets washed at the end of the day and sits on the counter going through every pizza. But the one that surprised me the most was don't get jamba juice. It was the only company called out by name. And it wasn't don't get certain things from there it was just don't get jamba juice period. Makes me wonder how gross their stuff must get. This was back in the day. But my first job was McDonald's. One day we got a call from a sister store asking if we'd had any complaints about our shakes. I said no. They did if we did refer it to them. Turns out a mouse had died in the machine at some point and had been being chewed up by the internal mixer. Yeah. I don't get shakes from there anymore and I eye the ice cream especially hard. Don't get decaf coffee at Burger King. Maybe this was just the one I worked at. But we didn't actually brew any decaf. Whenever someone ordered it. As someone who can't drink caffeine due to heart issues. This terrifies me. Okay so not fast food but I worked at Fudrakas and once we had a family came in with a child who was extremely deathly allergic to cheese meaning I had to make that kid a burger wrapped in aluminum foil on the grill with a different pair of gloves all the while cooking 50 other burgers and praying I don't kill this kid. If your kid is deathly allergic to something. Please dear god don't put it on a 17 year old kid to keep them alive. Burgers from sheets are microwaved. The grill marks are fake. Bacon is microwaved too. Also. Don't drink the F King peanut butter shakes. One particular peanut butter shake has nearly two. Zero 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 calories in it. Jesus this thread has made me realize that the place I work apparently has standards miles above other places and also I'm only ever eating at my work and home from now on. Subway's meat all comes packaged. No surprise really. However. When you open up the package of turkey. You get hit with a wave of farts. The turkey smells like real. Actual human farts. My manager even warned me about it before I opened my first package. Also. When we made the tuna salad we would have to weigh out a pound of mayo to mix with the fish. If you go in the morning. All of the meats cheeses vegetables bread are whatever was left from the night before. That stuff gets used up before they start using everything that's been freshly made cut. I worked in several Tim Hortons as a teenager. The ice cap machine never gets cleaned. Never ever. One of the girls I worked with went into anaphylaxis after making herself an ice cap at the end of her shift. She had a severe penicillin allergy. Editing to include the fact that this was approximately... 16 years ago in a few locations around southern Ontario. Obviously YMMV depending on when and where you worked. But my experience was that they never got cleaned. Worked at an AMC theater for 2 years. Do not buy the coffee unless it's early morning when we first open. Otherwise you're gonna drink coffee that's been sitting out for a solid 5 hours. At least. Edit what I've gathered from the comments. Either one. That's incredibly gross or two. After five hours coffee gets its flavor too. Who the FCK drinks coffee at a movie theater? You're supposed to drink the free water from the water fountain in a desperate attempt to sober up because you've been drinking all morning and need a chair and some air conditioning to sleep off the day drunk. When you order a pizza. Look for the specials. On Pizza Hut's website. You could order a large pizza with two toppings for $18. But if you go to the deals tab, 
that same pizza could be had for $8. They won't apply the discounts for you automatically. Sometimes you gotta look for them. You're ordering pizza wrong if you're not looking for deals. Domino's worker here. Nothing gross really that we do. But for the love of god stop ordering our bread twists. Unless you want the cinnamon ones. You can order the parmesan bread bites. It's the same amount of dough in total for like 3 bucks cheaper. Not technically fast food but don't order room service at small hotels. You're getting charged really high prices for pre-prepared. Oftentimes frozen food that is heated up in what is basically a toaster oven. Cold cut sandwiches are the only real exception. BLT your brains out but don't order the burger. Panera worker here. Nothing's gross or illegal but just know that half of everything we serve comes in frozen. Soups. Meats. Some pastries and the mac and cheese pastas all comes in frozen. But to answer the question. The calorie count for the mac and cheese is absurdly high. I don't remember the exact number but do your body a favor and limit how many times you have it. There's people who come in several times a week to order a bread bowls of mac and cheese who don't realize how bad it is for you. Also on the topic of our mac and cheese. It's not special Panera brand mac and cheese. It's Nestle mac and cheese. Edit. Raisin canes. Yes everything is made to order. Yes they had insane cleaning standards. Believe me my ass was there cleaning the store till 5 in the morning after 3rd shift. Edit. My go to is box no slaw extra toast. Slaw is good but the toast is where it's at. Edit 2. You king bastards made me get canes for breakfast. This kills my diet. Former firehouse sub shift manager. Don't order anything that isn't sliced meat or the meatball. The steak is frozen and greasy. The chicken is grilled and then frozen and packaged. Just not worth the $12. Also don't drink sweet tea there after 8pm. It's probably bad. Sweet tea needs to really be younger than 4 hours old and unless they got slammed they don't make new sweet tea after 4pm. Also those coke free style machines are a pain and difficult to clean. Also every drink comes out the same spigot. Which is gross. Edit. Every firehouse I've been and worked at has been very DHEC friendly. Almost all the food is safe to eat from that regard. I can't account for all stores or anything happening out of the norm. Anything with turkey. Ham. RB. Corned beef. Brisket is fine. The meatball is good. As a Brit looking to move to the US. All I can say is cheers for the list. All. I'm bookmarking this for a 6 month head start on US fast food. As for the UK. Weatherspoons. Think pubs ran as a fast food chain. Have a running joke where the cook is basically a microwave. I take it depends on each individual Weatherspoons pub. Mind. If you order any of the all day breakfast items at McDonald's after around 1. 0, 0. It will most likely be a few hours old. Ha. Huh. It's gonna take more than that to come between me and my sausage burritos. Edit. I always knew my love of sausage burritos was pure and would take me to great places. But I never imagined it would be this beautiful. Thanks. Guys. Worked at a sandwich shop and they had a contest for someone to have a sandwich named after them. They settled on slices of chicken. Apples. And honey served on a croissant and grilled. Funny thing is it was pretty popular and I never thought much of it until I tried it. It's not good. Edit. The most popular suggestion for anyone thinking of trying this one out is to add some breed to it as well. Just came here to say that without a doubt. You can go to any quick flip and order any of their kitchen or roller items and they will be fresh. But you're getting ripped off when you buy a slice of the pizza. Or a whole pizza. For some reason we charge a ridiculous amount for it. TBH it's not quite worth it. Edited to add. If you have any questions on the quality of anything QT serves. The answer is. It's delicious. Personally I love their steak taquitas and slashes. Jack in the box. I don't know why anyone orders the bacon cheddar potato wedges. It's fake cheese with fake bacon on fried potatoes. 
I'm trying to remember the ingredient list on the cheese but I distinctly recall nowhere on the packaging did it say it contained dairy. It also smells like feet. So you're saying it's vegan. Arby's. If you order the secret menu item that shall not be named. Not only are you Satan but you are also eating a nasty ass sandwich. I worked at Starbucks. Nobody who values their health should order a white mocha anything. That white mocha tea is absurdly unhealthy and disgusting to work with. Back around 2003 to 2004. My ex-wife worked for Wendy's. When they were about to fry a new batch of chicken nuggets. The other employees would just dip the bottom of the plastic bag into the fryer so that it would melt and the nuggets would fall out. They were too effing lazy to open the bag properly. I never ate there after hearing that. To be fair that doesn't seem like something going on across all Wendy is just a lazy worker. Former Chick-fil-A employee here. Because it's Chick-fil-A that everybody is a-okay with your needlessly complex order. Doesn't bother the cashiers so much. But it stalls the kitchen immensely when you want something that's not on the menu. But can be made with the ingredients we have. Who walks into Chick-fil-A and wants a complex order? I just want the Jesus chicken and some sauce. Bun and pickles? Sure. Even the deluxe is more than I need. I used to work at KFC and our manager tried to make us cook chicken that was past its expiration date. My mom worked at Dairy Queen and told me to always get the chicken because they have to make it fresh she said that they just microwave the hamburgers at it maybe not at all locations but at this one. Used to work as a server at Outback. I was tipped off by a waitress friend to always order bloom petals instead of the whole onion. Fewer pieces but half the cost. I work at Starbucks. All food comes in frozen. But the egg bites come in vacuum sealed packages with each one individually packaged. We have to massage them. Then pop them out of the plastic. They're a pain to get out of the oven because I guess they play hockey while they're cooking and end up on two separate sides of the oven. The oven starts screaming at us. Then. When finally we take them out of the oven. I have been working at Chick-fil-A for two years. I am a kitchen manager and I can tell you that we do not serve old chicken. Everything is timed 20 minutes or less. The waffle fries are timed at 5 minutes or less. We make sure everything is labeled and dated correctly. If there is bad chicken we immediately throw it away. If there is old chicken we place it on the cool down timer. It's basically used for soups. But everything is done correctly. At least in my store. I used to work at Papa John's. Everything. But in particular the f-king garlic knots. Full of f-king salt and dripping with faux butter. I don't eat Papa John's to be healthy I eat it to lay on my bed and watch Netflix while my heart tries not to fail from grease and butter. Customer. I'll have a, insert stupid drink name. Me. I have no idea what that is. Customer. It's on your secret menu. Me. We don't have a secret menu. Customer. But I read online that you have a secret menu. Me. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Sbarro. And while it's all pretty meh food for the price. I have to say the spaghetti is probably the worst value. Not because it's particularly bad. But it's just bulk by spaghetti. Too much salt. And some oil for almost as much as any of the other. Actually complicated pastas. Everything from Tim Hortons. Chipotle worker here. Nothing is actually gross about the food everything is legit. We come in early every single day at 6 to 7 am to prepare everything in the morning and cook it the same day. I get a free burrito every day and I still get excited to eat it again. I worked at in and out for a while. Don't order anything monkey style. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Or you don't feel like pooping in your hand and throwing it? X I hop employee. Don't order anything with shredded beef. Because it apparently tastes like human. Who's the cannibal who told you that? I was a manager at a Jamba Juice and the smoothies are not as healthy as they say they are there. 
unless you get the only juice and fruit based smoothie options your drink is more often than not going to have 50 plus grams of sugar. Popular drink there is the orange dream machine and a large one of those has 120 grams of sugar in it. If you are actually looking for a healthier option there then go for the fresh squeezed juices or ones without sherbet or frozen yogurt. Former Taco Bell employee, substitute the beef for something else. Pizza Hut don't get the personal pans. It's overpriced. Dairy Queen. Everything. Just don't eat there. Our cook didn't wear gloves. No one wore hair nets. And everyone touched everything with dirty hands. The people on cash who made the blizzards would eat out of the topping bins when they were making your blizzards. So you probably got some of their spit from their hands in your food. The strawberry sauce was left in a large bucket on the floor of the cooler. We used a dirty cup. That we had to fish out from the bottom of the bucket with our bare hands in order to refill it. You left each night covered in chocolate sauce. It was very dirty.